Hello, my name is Andrew Hall and for those of you who uh, haven't heard of us, I'm probably best known for turning hats and I have a hat here to show you. I've got this Stetson and I'm a wood turner and I've been turning now for about 20 years. There's a Stetson there made from one piece of wood, made from a piece of elm given to me by a very very good friend of mine who's also a turner, the tartan turner himself, Gary Law. And this is a Stetson that I made for myself a number of years ago and I've worn it for demonstrating and shows such as Harrogate and Newark. Now in the background you might hear a few country sounds. I live out in the country. I live in Weardale in County Durham and uh, we hear the, the sound of all of the agriculture in the area, the cows, the sheep. And you might even hear a few crows this afternoon because I'm sitting in a garden room outside and I just thought it might be an idea to talk about the story of the blues poor. I'm known for the hats. That's really what I was known for with wood turning, demonstrating the teaching. But I'm also known for these dinky bow ties. There's one here. And that's the that's made out of fire burr. And Instagram, I'm the bow tie man. So we've got a number of items that I'd like to show you this afternoon and we're going to start off with the latest thing that I've been making which has been for teaching and demonstrating and that's the blues ball and I've actually been making it since 2016 in 2021 now so it's been five years but it was 2015 2016 where we're going into the new year and Janet and I we always like to watch the Jules Holland Hogmanier and not Hogmanier, Hootenier, Hootenier it is and we like to watch that and listen to the music and you often see some new bands and new music which is quite unusual and we actually saw this guy called C6 Dave and C6 Dave was playing an instrument which was three string and it was a cigar box guitar and he had another guitar that only had three strings as well it was a normal six string but what he could do with these instruments was brilliant. So anyhow, what we decided to do, and well, what I decided to do was try and invent an instrument that was totally made on the lathe, based on the cigar box guitar and the three string and the four string cigar box guitar. So what I did, I made what I call the blues ball. And this is the first blues ball that I made. That's it there. And it's a piece of ash rippled ash and the ash actually came from Stanhope up in Weardale and it's finished in an oil finish it's finished with a chestnut finishing oil and it's got a little blues pickup on and it's a very high action so you play it with a slide and it's if I play it it's not really that loud acoustically but it's not it's loud enough to be able to practice without disturbing anybody when I was at shows in their uh, premier inns practicing so and I need a lot of practice. Anyhow I'm going to plug some in, put them into the amplifier and then I'll let you see what they sound like or I'll let you hear what they sound like through the amplifier. So I'll set everything up and then I'll come back to the next stage in the presentation. What we've got is the blues ball. I've got it plugged into a little Vox amp, it's only 10 watt and um, this is a clean sound, so... before it's, it's a piece of beautiful ash and rippled and made in 2016. So what I did last year 2020 we did a first online blues ball course 
and it was well attended. I was really pleased with the way it went. We had a number of beautiful guitars. In fact, I'll probably put a compilation of the guitars, the blue spools that were made, onto a YouTube at a later stage. And I'm going to keep these YouTubes nice and short, a bit like a blog, just to keep people updated as to where we are with the instruments. So I've got the instruments on display here. There's a number of different ones. And what I'm going to do is put a little short videos on each instrument and then we can talk about the inspiration behind the instrument because I only make really one-offs and for example this, this one here, this is a, a pallet box guitar, this one here was made from pallets that are dried out and I call it me pallet box blues, it's in an open A and it's a one-off so a friend of mine, he's actually, he's buying that for his son for Christmas. And there's one or two that I'll never sell, but there are some that, um, I have them on display, and then I tend to think about selling them after we've had them on display. So... <laughs> Bye for now.